Now, in today's video, we're going to be making the data system, and we might get around to making this open and close, depending on how far in we get. Now, this data system is very secure. You won't have any data loss at all. It uses profile service, and we'll get into that a bit more. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. So firstly, go to server script service, insert a folder, and just name this folder server scripts. So server scripts. Now we're going to insert a module and this will be called data system. And I'll leave a link to the other module in the description below. It's a profile service module, which we're going to use to save the player data securely. Now that will be in the description below. You will need to get it for the data. Now, once you've got the profile service module, just insert it into the data system parent and just don't touch that whatsoever. You don't need to You don't need to do anything with that module. Go ahead, insert another module into the data script parent and we're gonna name this user data, okay? And this will just be one big table that holds all the player's data, okay? So we're gonna do return table. We're gonna add a currency called cash. Cash is equal to zero. We're gonna add a table called pets. Okay, now that's all you really need to add for the user data. Exit out of that and go into the data system. We're gonna do local data system, then return data system. Now let's add some variables so we, and some services. So we're gonna do services, then local players equals game get service players. Then we're gonna do modules local profile service equals require script.profile service then we're going to do local user data equals require script.user data now we're going to do variables local data version equals zero or we're just going to do one Zero, one like that, then local data store key, data store key equals player data to string data version. Now we're going to do local game profile store equals profile service, get profile store, our uh, data store key and the user data then we're going to do local profiles equals a table now we're just going to go ahead and add some functions so low no function data system get data Now let's start scripting these functions. So for the load profile, we're gonna do local user ID equals two string player dot user ID, then local key equals player user ID, local profile equals game profile service, load profile async, the key and force load. Now we're going to do if profile equals to nil, then we're going to do player kick, then data wasn't found, please rejoin. Close your eyes. Just like this, okay? Now, for the get data, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do local profile equals profiles player. If profile equals nil, then one uh, player dot name, player dot name, profile wizard 
for is new, like this, and then return end. Then we're gonna just do return profiles player. Return data. Now when the player leaves the game, we're gonna do the exact same as these two lines. And then we're gonna do profile release. And for load data, all we're gonna do is, so once again, copy these two lines, add them here. Then local leader stats, stats equals instance.new folder. Then, oh, one sec, we need to add a player here. Then leader stats dot name equals leader stats and then leader stats dot parent equals player. Just like that, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is just give this a quick test. We're gonna print the player's profile. So print profile. Now go into your server script and we're gonna do modules, then local data system equals require script.parent.serverscripts.data system. Now inside the player added function, we're gonna do data system load profile player, and inside the player removing function, we're gonna do data system remove profile player and give it a play. We have an error, what's this? Uh, load data, load data, okay, insert player here. We forgot to add the argument, there we go. Let's give it one more test. And there we go, this seemed to work. So this is the player profile, and our data should be stored here too. Yeah, awesome. Okay, now we're gonna add a button that adds cache each time we click it, all right? So, just close all this for now. And go into start a GUI, go into main, bottom, inventory, duplicate this. We're gonna delete all of the things inside, apart from equipped and count. No, just apart from equipped. We're gonna name this text label. And we're just gonna change the text to plus one. And we're just going to insert an icon and name this add value. And we're just going to go ahead and insert this emoji icon. Okay, awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into start a player, start a player scripts and insert a folder. We're going to name this GUI. Insert a local script. And we're gonna name this add cache. Then we also need to go ahead and insert a remote event. So for this, go into replicate storage, insert a folder, we're gonna name this signals. Insert a folder inside of that named remotes. Then two other folders, both named events and functions. Events and functions. Inside of the events, insert a remote event called add value. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to local script, do local signals. We're going to do local add value event equals replicate storage. Wait for child signals. Wait for child remotes. Wait for child events. And we actually we're going to name this events. Okay. Now we're going to do events dot add value fire server amount. Now go into your server script. So server script service dot server and we're gonna do local replicate storage equals game get service replicate storage then 
we're gonna do signals now we're just gonna run a quick test by doing print player and the amount and this sh should work so every time we click it yep and it works every time we click it it fires it to a server and we get the player name and the amount we want to give now we're gonna add it to the data, okay? So go back into the script and do local player data equals data system get data player. If player data equals to nil, then return end, then player data dot cache equals player data dot cash plus one or no plus amount and we're just going to go ahead and print the player data okay let's go ahead and give this a quick test okay so right now we have no cash click it once we have one cash click it again the cash is two click it again it's three and if we keep clicking it it'll eventually go up to 17 however many times you clicked it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rejoin and we're gonna see if this saved, okay? So hit play, click the table, click data, and as you can see, the cache saved, okay? So that is the data system for the game done. Now, if it doesn't save, try this. Go to game settings, security, allow HTTP requests, enable studio access to API services, third party sales, third party teleports. Enable all of these because we're gonna need them eventually and just save that. Okay, so now our data system's done, we're gonna go ahead and script this button. So when we click it, this UI opens. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just disable this UI here. Go into start a GUI, inventory, go to the properties, enabled and disable that. Now what you want to do is go back into start player, start player scripts, GUI, and insert a local script. We're going to name this buttons. frame.enabled equals not frame.enabled let's try this out real quick okay so here we go boom and that seemed to work now we will add tween animations to this next episode but for today that's gonna do we've covered the data system which is great and we've covered the opening and closing of the UI so all good oh wait I got an error let me just Okay, we're gonna do player GUI find first child button dot name. Then let's go ahead and try that out real quick. Okay, and that fixed the error, so all good. That will do for today's video. In the next part, we will start on the tweening of the UI and also start on the egg system, okay? So next episode will be quite big. Now, let's get this video to 100 likes for part three, okay? If we hit 100 likes, I'll do a part 3. And with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe, leave a like, share the video with friends, and I'll see you soon.